Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we're gonna use a torque wrench and we're gonna add on different extensions to see if there is a loss in torque and if so, just how much over different varying lengths of using extensions. We're also gonna be using a 3 8 to half inch. So we're gonna see if there's some loss in that reduction as well as we're gonna be using some impact and also some chrome extensions. We're gonna step these up from maybe 10, 12 inches up to 20 and then 36 and then even seven foot worth of extensions just to see how much, if any, torque loss is perceived or visible when using extensions with your torque wrench. So let's get down to some testing and see just how much torque loss is perceived. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So first we're going to go ahead and dial into 35 foot-pounds. That's going to be our baseline that we're going to be using for every measurement going forward when working with our torque measurements. So this is pretty important. Now that we're dialed in at 35 foot-pounds, we need to establish our baseline make sure that we're getting and hitting accurate numbers. So let's get to testing this torque wrench. We'll do it three times and then we'll take the average and make sure that we are still again pretty close to being accurate. So our first pull is coming in at 34.9 foot-pounds. We're gonna plot this and graph this all later. And then our second pull is coming in at 34.8. And our third and final is coming in at 34.7. So it looks like our baseline average is gonna be 34.8 going forward. Now let's get to testing some extensions and see how they work. So we're gonna start things off with a 10 inch half inch drive impact extension. We also did do the chrome equivalents of these and here you can see the results and we're always gonna do three of them. We'll average them out. This is gonna be coming in slightly under our baseline and this one averaged out to be about 3.16% under the baseline representing the fact that there is a torque loss when you use extensions. Here you can see we have two extensions put together for a total of 19 inches. Now with both of these extensions, whether it be the 19 or the 10, they're relatively small, so we are not using a brace or anything. These are all just free floating. It's allowing to have some sag, and then we go ahead and correct that with our hands, and then we can see we have a 33.8 foot-pounds for the first reading. Our second reading is coming in at 33.8, so really consistent so far. And our third and final reading is coming in at 32.8, so roughly around another 3% in torque loss. So here we have four extensions put together. These are all half-inch drive extensions, and this is coming in roughly at 37 to 38 inches. We're gonna round it up to 38 because we got that an adapter in there and it is part of the mix. You can see that we are having a substantial amount of sag when it comes to working with an extension of this length. And we're gonna see how this one performs and if there is a little bit of torque loss in it. We're gonna start off without using any brace. This is all by hand. And you can see that the first reading is coming in at 32.9 foot pounds. Our second reading is coming in at 33.4. And our final reading is coming in at 34.2, which again is around the upper three to almost 4% of torque loss. Now we're gonna prop the extensions up here with a chair just to help stabilize it to see if there's any difference or torque loss when it comes to keeping something off the access point. And so that's why we're gonna brace this up and see how this extension performs. And it looks like our first reading is coming in at 35 foot pounds. So by about this time, you can see that I started to correct myself when I could feel this because I knew that I was gonna be slightly off. And these were really consistent results all in the 35 foot pounds. So those would have come in and passed with flying colors. Now here you can see, we're gonna step this up quite a bit. Now we have this extension coming in at 64 inches. We got a three foot extension with a reduction to three eighths inch. And then there is our final 64 inches or coming in at five feet and four inches. So let's see how this extension performs with a mix of chrome and impact, which really shouldn't matter. It's really gonna be that three eighths to half inch, which will have a little bit more flex in it. We can see that our first reading is coming in at 32.7 foot pounds. And our second reading is coming in at 32.7, as well as our final reading 
coming in just a little bit lower, but still representing a 6% loss in torque. Now we'll go ahead and repeat this exact same process without a brace or a prop up of that chair. We'll see how consistent the results are and how they perform. You can see that this is coming in at 31.3. So the numbers are going to be quite a bit lower and that's going to represent an overall 9.77% loss in torque. So now we're going to see how much torque loss there is when it comes to using over a seven foot extension with a half inch to three eighths inch reduction. And this is what we've been waiting for. We're going to see how much torque loss there is with a over seven foot extension coming in at 88 inches. So this first measurement is going to be taken without a brace on there. And you're actually going to be kind of surprised with how this one performs. So without the brace, that first reading is coming in right around 31.7 foot pounds, which off of baseline, that's going to be a 9.29% loss in torque. So almost a 10% loss in torque. Now that would be something that you could correct by bumping up the torque wrench. So now we're going to add a brace to that 88 inch extension. Again, that's got the 3 8 to half inch. We're going to see how this one performs and hopefully that brace will allow us a little bit more stability and consistency. And it looks like our first reading is coming in a little, little bit better at 32.1 foot pounds, but not that much better when compared to without a brace. Either way, you don't want to try this at home. Still fun results. You can see that we ended up being about 8.72% under our baseline. So still a torque loss. Now here you can see we are going to dial in, step it up to 65 foot pounds. And we're going to see without a brace, how something like this performs. This is after I've been dialed in. I've been able to compensate and feel the difference when it comes to the torque loss. And hopefully you can see I was able to compensate coming in at 64.1 foot pounds. So there is a lot of human error or human interaction when working with that torque wrench. So you can actually really do get accurate numbers if you really, really want to. But again, it takes practice to make that perfect and 64.2 for that final reading. So really 65, 64, that's a pretty decent result. Now, another one that's really interesting here, and we're not going to graph this one as well. This was just some of the other Chrome extensions that I tested out compared to the impact. And this one is the wobble extension from GearWrench. Again, that's a 10 inch wobble extension. And you can see the baseline for that 33.7, which is really, really close to exactly how the half inch drive fixed performed. And here again, you know, we're going to get three good consistent results, 33.8. So that's representing that 3% loss, give or take, when you start using that extension. And here on the wobble, this is where it actually gets interesting. The results are actually fairly inconsistent because there's a lot of compensation going from the user. So in my experience in testing here, when you started introducing angles, it had a larger fluctuation in the actual torque loss and consistency because there's just so many more variables and human error that's put into the actual application of applying torque. Now you could get a lot more practice and get consistent with that. I just didn't actually get a chance to do that and just observed a larger substantial torque loss when working with angles just because it is very hard to work with. So a lot of interesting and good data when it comes to looking at torque wrenches, adding in angles, as well as just maxing out that extension. So we're going to go ahead and throw up some graphs here so you can see the final results. As you can see, typically the longer extension you go out, the more torque loss you're going to get. Now you can compensate for that and we did see some of those results in some of the testing. But again, there wasn't really any difference between impact versus chrome. And the biggest factor appeared to be when you brace things up and you had a nice, steady, consistent pull, as well as a lot of practice really makes a big difference when it comes to getting accurate torque results. And finally, guys, make sure your torque wrench is always properly calibrated. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. Also, don't forget to comment down below your experiences with using torque wrenches and extensions. And as always, guys, work smarter, not harder. And I'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.